me saying delicious um, with another bug bong that I'm having today I have um, somewhat of like a Haitian meets Asian type dish um, I don't know if you guys know but I am Haitian so I make a lot of like traditional Haitian dish dishes um, this one is actually um, white rice and um it's a kind of traditional sauce we put over the white rice when we eat white rice which is called sauce bois, which translates literally to sauce of beans this is what i call what we call um sauce pois rouge which translates to basically red um bean sauce and it's basically like beans cooked and then after that you take some of the beans you blend them up you remix them back into the um into the beans and it makes like a sauce that has beans in it with like our traditional seasonings anyway also i have gardein porkless bites um and it's sweet and sour flavored so it's like that's the asian twist to it and regularly like corn and sweet peas so let me go ahead and show you guys okay i don't know if you guys can see that too well that's the porkless bites, the sweet peas and corn, and the white rice and sauce bois. And um, we usually call the white rice and sauce bois um, di à quoi. Or not di à quoi. Di avec sauce bois. Oh, try to fix that. Okay. So let's dig in. Oh, I also have some kimchi. As you can see, I like freaking tore it up <laughs> kimchi never lasts too long in my house because i i literally eat it all okay let me try the bite mm, it's really good i don't know if you can see it but over here i have a huge array of like different hot sauces because i don't have any pickles and i normally use that pickles is a a, a traditional Haitian spicy slaw. It's like um, cabbage and onions and some sp spring onions. It's like a s slaw of basically a cabbage slaw and carrots in it. Sliced up really thinly and um, marinated in vinegar and um, habanero, I'm not, well, habanero peppers. Um, you know, if you call it scotch bonnet, it's the same thing. Scotch bonnet or habanero peppers. Um, so it's a lot of habanero peppers in there. And um, it's marinated for like a full 24 hours and then you eat it. So, yeah, that's traditionally what I eat this with. But I've never really had like this rice with these type of um, hot, like, you know, hot condiments. So I brought all of them to see which one I might prefer it with. So I am weird. I like to mix the sauce into the rice before I start eating it. So I'm just going to do that. I am not going to speak for all Haitians, but those in my family, we eat a lot of um, rice. A lot of Haitians do. I'm not going to, I'm going to speak for everyone now. A lot of Haitians eat a loads of rice every day. That's like the main thing, rice. The, the dish is not complete if there's no rice. And because of this, we have so many different variations to, um, to um, rice. We have different types of rices that we make. So, um, and this is one of them. So I simply had some of these left over because I made it the other day for my kids with Haitian fried chicken. And um, I don't eat chicken, so I just decided to add it to the, uh, add the, the um, Gardein porkless sweet and sour bites to it. And, um, and that's what makes like the, I guess the Asian twist to it. The Asian Haitian twist. Mm, so good. 
And this is like the first, this is, this is the first summer I've actually had this. Mmm. Wow. This actually tastes just like, like pork. Wow. So guys, how are your days doing today? What are you guys doing? What are you guys eating? This is like a pretty big plate. I'm not sure if I'm going to eat the whole thing. But I'm going to try. Because I'm really, really hungry right now. Like the saying goes, maybe my eyes might be too big for my, uh, my stomach. <laughs> okay, so let me try the rice with some chihuahua sauce. This is pretty tame, and I don't really like tame hot sauce, so... Let me just try it on one side here. <clears throat> okay, so that's a no-go. Oh, you know what? Let me put some red pepper flames. I don't know, I'm like, a dish is not complete unless there's like some spiciness to it. Am I wrong for that? Like, I don't know. I just, it has to be some type of spiciness to it. All right, so I'm going to try this, which is like nearly done. The green pepper sauce, Tabasco. It's basically, it's jalapeno, jalapeno flavor. It says um, milder jalapeno. So let's see. Mmm. Mm. By the way, the way we create this um, sauce bar, we usually put one scotch bonnet in the sauce and we don't chop it up, we don't open it. <clears throat> Just so that it doesn't taste spicy, but you get the flavor of the, um, the, ha the habanero. Okay. So the jalapeno might do, I don't know. The Tabasco might be too strong and alter the flavor too much, and that's the reason why I might not go for it. Yeah, mm -mm. Let's try my favorite, sriracha. Okay. Mm. It's pretty good, but it makes it slightly sweet because you know sriracha is a little bit sweet. So, this is the winner. So, this is the way I chose to quickly veganize Haitian food, but normally. I buy veganized Haitian food. Um, I normally don't put any like fake meat on it. I just eat like the rice and some vegetables, um, which is normally this, or diakwa, which is white rice cooked with the bean and in the rice together. <coughs> and I'm not one of those people who don't like their food touching. Like that's it's all going the same place. Mm. I took my hair down and I washed it. So, if it looks all choppy and different lengths, you know why. Because I said it in the last video, I chopped everything off. I'm getting used to the short length. I think it's cute. I am loving these little pork bites or porkless bites. <laughs> Tastes really good. Mm. I'm so hungry. I've been like cooking and cleaning 
all morning. And I'm hungry. I just worked up a serious appetite. <coughs> mm. I can't stop eating kimchi. The good thing about kimchi is a um, is that it's a natural probiotic because of the fermentation. It's really um, it doesn't. It's not only tasty, but it's actually good for your digestive system. So you not. Two birds out <coughs> with one stone. Um, let me show you guys one of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the rice fell. It's done. Um, this is the rays. Mm. Please excuse the loud noises of my um my kids. It's spring break, and they are doing what kids do on spring break. I'm going out. Mm. I added the um sesame seeds. Um because I don't know. I like sesame seeds on um on a lot of Asian dishes. Huang Trang. That was like the first mukbang I've ever watched. He actually makes the food, he makes the recipes, and then he um, does a mukbang afterwards. And because of him, I've learned how to make pho, Asian pho, I mean uh, Vietnamese pho, um, all types of dishes. Even Asian style. Um, fried chicken um, for my kids. So, shout out to him. Oh, and also Mommy Tang, but when I started following her, she was she already stopped um, doing YouTube. But I binge watched, binge watched, sorry, um, all of her videos. I learned like loads of vegan um, dishes. And with Juan, he's not a vegan, so he doesn't make vegan dishes, but he did a quite a few. And those that are not vegan, I, I veganize for myself. Some of the sweet and sour sauce kind of got in the rice a bit, and <clears throat> I'm not mad. It's really good. My garden, A1. I have yet eaten a, a garden um, 
like one of the Guardian food. My kids are arguing in the background. I have no care in the world. Because <laughs> this food is amazing. Don't tell me I finished my kimchi. You know what? I just thought about something. Maybe I could put some kimchi sauce on the rice. I've seen people. I've seen mommy telling me like kimchi fried rice. Hmm. I could probably do that. Eliza! He's crying. He's my older son is teasing him. Why are you crying? And that's how you don't pay attention to what he's doing. He's just trying to make you mad. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that to him? Because he looks funny when he cries. As even so if you're as crying, even if you're crying, do you, would you feel good if somebody was laughing at you while you were crying? No. Wouldn't you want them to stop? So why are you doing that to him? And, and he, and he, and, he, and I'm laughing about him because... Some people can laugh at him because some people are crybaby. <coughs> no, I didn't say to laugh at him. Sometimes he can be a crybaby. Well, you're not supposed to laugh at him if he's mad or he's crying or he's sad. Right? Okay? Yeah. Stop it and apologize to him. Okay. It's because he, because I'm laughing at him when he cries because he snatched it. He snatched it. He starts snatching my tablet on me. He smashed the top of for me, and then he went, and then he went on Google, and then he said, um, okay, Google, show me a picture of Kaden the burger head, and then, and then when I went to, and then at the Play Store, he said, okay, Google, show me a picture of Kaden the burger head. So you and did all of that because he called you Kaden the burger head? Yeah, and, and he... And he put a game, and then he said, I see how they cook your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does it mean you gotta be mean to him? If you don't like it, just come and tell me. And I'll speak to him. Right? Okay. You wanna taste one of these? Mm -hmm. It's called porkless bites. Wanna taste it? <laughs> what do you say? Excuse me. Okay, but take the sesame seeds off. It tastes good. What about the, the red thing? Might be peppers. No, it's not. That, it's just one little tiny piece. It's not hot. <laughs> just taste it. It's my. Is it ready? It's good. Caden, it tastes good. Chew. Come here. Chew and chew. Is it spicy? No, no, it's supposed to be sweet. Maybe there's a little tiny piece of red pepper on it, but it's not spicy. What do you think about it? Kind of good. <laughs> My son hates um, vegetables or anything vegan. He is a meat. My oldest son, Kaden, he's a meat. Whew, meat eater. He will not touch these vegetables. I mean, nothing that has any vegetables. He hates all vegetables. So, I'm shocked that he actually said it's a little bit good because he is so critical he's such a critic when it comes to food trust me saying it's a little bit good is a compliment coming from him this is so good The kimchi sauce tastes good, and the, um, and the rice.
Getting a tad bit, tad bit um, full. But I will definitely finish this. As I said, tad bit. I didn't say full. This is really freaking good. I completely 100% back this and <laughs> try these out, even if you're not vegan. This is really good. This is like good for like a meatless Monday. This is not meat. This is good. This is really good. There's like a little mosquito Oops, after my pork was bite. My last one. You cannot have it. It's mine. Mmm. Um, I save the best for last. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I am done guys I am stuffed and I'm satisfied that was really good mm. so guys if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button share this if you like and um if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get um, notified when I upload just to be on the safe side. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.